Welcome to Monument Mayhem. Every day I'm traveling to a new monument in Rust for 25 days straight. You're going to see a new monument and a new video from me on this channel every day until I'm done with every single one. Oh, there's my ride. Gotta go. Uh, today we're doing train yard. Multiple buildings, train cars, and underground sections. Everybody take your seat, there's a lot to go over today. What features can you expect at Train Yard? You can expect a recycler located in one of the buildings, an oil refinery for processing crude oil, a repair bench for fixing items, approximately 20 to 25 crates throughout the monument, those being military crates, regular crates, and food crates, high tier loot in the puzzle rooms, including a red key card, and a little bonus thing which we'll get to later. For whatever lore reason, the train yard is extremely radiated. You will want 30 plus rad protection. The train yard also features four hostile NPCs that patrol specific areas. One near the tower next to the oil refinery sheds, two in the main building housing the fuse box, and three, two scientists around the recycler building. The puzzle at the train yard is slightly more complex than other monuments. You're gonna wanna locate the red corrugated building and activate the switch inside. After that, you go to the large concrete tower, go all the way up the top, and flip the switch on the balcony. Then head to the central building and insert an electric fuse in the fuse box on the second floor. can then access the green card room and the blue card room in the upper floors. Okay, the train yard is actually one of my favorite monuments. It's really cool and I love it when they do things like they do a junkyard with the crane. Bringing supplies to the train yard, although you do need a green card infused to do it, can be an extremely rewarding thing. I mean, I've come away from here with a rocket launcher, I've come away with 5k low grade, I've come away from here with 20k sulfur and 10k metal ore. It, it's honestly crazy. If you don't know, there are train cars spread out throughout the map that you can return to the train yard to basically extract the goods from said train car. It doesn't take long, but if someone gets wind of what you're doing, there's no world you're not going to get countered, so be careful.
Between the unique puzzle and the access to a ton of resources, crates, and cards, Train Yard's pretty stacked. And I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this one. I'm a fan of building around this one. I think it's actually somehow slept on despite having so much, you know, in it. This one may be our new highest tier over airfield, and it could be S tier with a few diesel spawns, but alas, that's it for day 12. On to day 13. See you tomorrow. Peace.